Hey guys, my name is Lena and I'm a graphic designer and this is my channel for beginners in Adobe Illustrator. I've been creating my channel for 11 months and at first I just wanted uh, to make tutorials and that's all. And now I want to share with you my knowledge. I've been working as a graphic designer for more than 10 years and now I want to tell you my little story. And whatever you are worried, here you see my works. And at first I want to tell you, as you hear, I'm not a native English speaker. I'm a Russian girl who has lived in Montenegro for about two years. So I can make mistakes in words or sentences and so my apologize for that. I've never studied in university or college as a graphic designer and I've never learned any courses in graphic design. I learned graphic design by myself. How I decided what I want to be a graphic designer? It was the last university course and I studied in University of Railways in Russia and must be become a railway worker. But I understood uh, that it was not my desire and it was the desire of my parents. And in that time my boyfriend and the developer in one phase and now he is my husband gave me an advice. He showed me works of graphic designers on Adobe Store and said that many people create such kind of content and earn money on that. And I love in graphic design and vector graphics. I started to make research in internet of uh, what I need to know to create such kind of works and uh, internet said to me what I need to know Adobe Illustrator. And I started to learn Illustrator with help of all tutorials uh, what I can find in internet. And in three months I started to earn my first money and in a year and a half I've been earning already $800. And from the girl without profession I became a graphic designer by myself. Okay guys, that was my little story and now let's talk about the course. It consists of five tutorials. Four of them will be about how to use tools and many practical advices. And in the last tutorial we're going to create this illustration. I decided that uh, this illustration will be uh, our symbol, uh, your symbol, your first step in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, guys, let's start our first tutorial. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. Okay, guys, let's start our first tutorial. And the main step is opening Adobe Illustrator. Okay, let's open it. I have the last version of Adobe Illustrator and my Illustrator is official and every month I pay for it $21. Ok, our Illustrator is opened and now let's create the new document. Create new. Ok, here. Uh, width you can change as you like, uh, height you can change as you like, here uh, you can uh, select pixels or inches or millimeters or centimeters or something else, uh, but uh, the main um, for the work in the illustrator is pixels, are uh, pixels and uh, here you can change orientation vertical or horizontal uh, 
here you can change uh, the numbers of R boards, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, as you need. Uh, here nothing uh, to change. Uh, color mode RGB, here screen and here default. Okay, uh, my document for today is uh, 1000 uh, to 1000 pixels and let's start. Great. Okay guys, the main thing when you create the document, what you need to do is uh, to save document. Okay, how to save document in Adobe Illustrator. File save as or save now let's select the place for our document three course let's name it file and here Russian uh, but in English will be safe. Okay, here nothing to change, but if you need to select your document in uh, other version of uh, Illustrator, you can select it here. And please stay this point here. Uh, if you uh, delete this point like this, uh, when your document uh, don't open uh, in um, Adobe Photoshop, if you stay this point, your document uh, document is always uh, your illustration is always uh, opened. Uh, in Adobe Illustrator, in, sorry, in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, guys, let's select uh, the full screen mode with menu bar, like this. And now, today I'm going to talk with you about this panel. And the first tool is selection tool. Uh, uh, I need to create any shape to show you how to work uh, with this tool. Uh, I'm going to create ellipse like this. Hold shift uh, for create the perfect ellipse. Okay. Now, uh, we have uh, the white ellipse uh, with uh, the stroke black color. Uh, let's delete the stroke. We need to select uh, this uh, square and uh, with help of the left button of the mouse to uh, select it. Okay, now we don't have the stroke, only white color. Let's change our color to other to see our ellipse. Let's select any color, for example, this. this. Okay, now in my hands, uh, uh, the selection tool, you see, I select it. Uh, what can you do with help of selection tool? Uh, you can move your uh, shape as you like. For example, uh, hold the left button of the mouse and move it like this. Then you move, uh, you need to hold the left button. And while you hold it, you can move it. In the time, uh, then you stop the hold uh, the left button, uh, your shape is stopped. Like this. 
And this is the main thing uh, for what you need uh, the selection tool. Okay, guys, the next tool in Adobe Illustrator is direct selection tool. Any illustration in uh, Adobe Illustrator uh, consists of anchor points. Here, here, anchor and here, anchor. And what can you do with help of direct selection tool? Uh, look, you can select any anchor, for example, this anchor. Uh, when you select the anchor, this point is uh, filled and these points are stroke. So, select this anchor and move as you like. For example, like this or like this or like this. You can select uh, uh, one more point. Uh, you need to hold shift for this and select for example this point okay now we move these two points and you can select uh, three points for example these and now these on uh, its place and these points are moving like this and uh, one more thing I want to show you what can you do with help of direct selection we need to create a rectangle like this and now select for example, this corner and move this point to the center, like this. You see, your corner is rounded. Now, you can do it with one corner, you can do it with two, three corners or with uh, all corners. Uh, I show um, now. I'm going to show you. Uh, let's move back. Uh, you can uh, you can do it with the help of uh, Control Z. Uh, now just select with help of selection tool this, or with help of direct selection tool the whole uh, rectangle and just in any corner uh, you can move this point to the center and all corners are rounded like this and this is one more plus of direct selection tool and the next tool is this tool uh, magic wand tool uh, for this tool we need to create uh, more shapes select rectangle tool and any rectangles like this and uh, we need to colorize it uh, in colorize them in other colors this color and here this color and here the same color uh, and uh, here uh, the green color okay now let's select uh, magic wand tool and select for example green you see uh, you select the green rectangle and only green rectangle is selected now let's select this pink rectangle like this and now you see then you select this pink rectangle uh, select uh, were selected this 
and these and these shapes and it means uh, what then you hold uh, the magic wand tool in your hands it selected the shapes uh, one color uh, one more example let's select these uh, orange uh, shape okay you see these orange and these orange shapes uh, a little deeper and this is i don't like uh, in uh, this magic wand tool and this tool select the similar colors and this is not very very good for illustrator and the next tool is lasso tool how it works select lasso tool and i'm going to show you uh, for example you need to select uh, not all shapes and uh, uh, we need to select these 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 and these shapes and how you can do it like this and like this okay and voila we are selected we selected uh these three four shapes with help of lesser tool and that's all Okay, guys, and the next tool is pen tool. The pen tool is one of the main tools for the designer. And now I need to delete these shapes. Select selection tool, select like this, and delete. Now I need to open one photo file, open. And I need this leaf open. Okay, uh, this photo uh, was opened in other document. Uh, you need select it. Control C. Now select our document. And Control V. Okay, now move it here hold shift and make it bigger like this uh, now let's change our mode to fill screen mode and now let's select our pen tool and let it be this color no matter and what can you do with help of pen tool First anchor here. You can to create any shapes as you like. The pen tool is your main tool for drawing in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to make it fast. just to show you what can you do with help of pen tool but of course you have more time to do this and make it more beautiful but if you need just simple shape of uh, this leaf it will be okay and in two minutes uh, you can easy create the leaf shape let's uh, this full make uh, the stroke to see our photo
be almost done and the last here okay now let's uh, change stroke to fill like this uh, let's select the photo and move it here and here is our shape of our leaf uh, you can change colors as you like it's totally vector illustration of the leaf yes i like the shape and it was very very fast and the next tool is curvature tool uh, unlike uh, of pen tool this tool creates only smoother shapes and then now i'm going to show you select this tool first anchor here and the second anchor for example here and you see you can make the shape up and down and your shape is smooth and look uh, the second the third anchor here and you can do your shapes like this for example like this the next the next anchor here and the next here and the next here and the next and like this you see all end corners are perfect no sharp corners only smooth corners and i like it uh, now uh, if you know these uh, shapes are very modern and trendy uh, and what can you do as well with um, this tool select this tool you can change your shape as you like select this uh, points with anchors and move them as you like uh, also you can add new anchor like this and move uh, it as you like and here we can add new anchor like this and uh, you can and you can add uh, as many anchors as you want and the next tool in adobe illustrator is type tool select type tool and um, hold the left button of the mouse and draw your workspace okay uh, this is the standard text of adobe illustrator and the standard text for the many designers if uh, you don't have the text but you need to add it uh, to your design project okay let's delete this text delete and here i'm going to write my name elena barishkina sorishkina this is my surname okay what can we do uh, we can change the font size for example this uh, but you can make it bigger for example 200 let's make our workspace bigger here and move our text here uh, you are you can do with the help of selection tool uh, now what can we do with our text uh, we can uh, change the space here here 72 but you can write here for example 300 
Uh, the same here. You can make like this. And one more thing I want to show you. Look, uh, you see this red rectangle. It means uh, that you have the text behind your workspace. To see your text behind your workspace, you can do your text smaller or make the workspace bigger. Like this. And now you see the whole text and no red rectangle. Okay. What can you do more? You can change uh, the paragraph, align to the center, to the right, uh, and the other ways. Uh, you can change here uh, options. Let's take here and here you can write 50 or 100. Uh, if you want to uh, make uh, changes only this this word, you need to select this word. And uh, let's write here 200. And that's all. Well, uh, you can play with the text as you like. And it's very, very helpful, helpful tool for the designer. The next tool is line tool. For this tool, they need the stroke, for example, black color, or you can select any color as you like. Uh, let's select this color and let's draw the line. If you will draw just the help of left button of the mouse, it can be not straight. Uh, but if you select, uh, if you hold the shift, your line will be straight. Okay, we drew the line and our line is selected. What can they do uh, with, um, with line? Here, the panel of our line. And we can change something here, let it be more fatter. Okay, what can you do more? Uh, select this word stroke and you see there are more options. Uh, you can change uh, the, uh, the cap, the corner. Uh, you can change, uh, I show you, here, and you can change here. Uh, what can you do? Mm, let's here none, and here none, and here you can change uh, the form, for example, this form, or these or these uh, or these uh, as you like uniform and one more thing you can do uh, select this rectangle you see you can uh, create this shape uh, if you write here for example 50 and here 12 uh, the shape is uh, changed for uh, to this shape and it's very very cute and uh, delete this um, point to move back okay it uh, was the main options for the line tool and the next tool is a rectangle tool, but here we have and round rectangle tool and ellipse and polygon tool and star tool and I'll show you all. I'm going to show you all. Uh, at, uh, the first is a rectangle tool. 
let's change here uh, stroke to fill and select and now let's draw rectangle if you want to draw the square you need to hold uh, shift okay uh, now let's select rounded rectangle tool uh, just um, select any empty place and here we can change uh, width, uh, he uh, height and corner radius. Uh, let's stay it like this. Okay. And here our rounded rectangle. Uh, now ellipse tool. Like this you can draw ellipse and hold shift for the perfect round. Now, uh, polygon tool, select empty place, uh, you can change radius, you can change uh, sides, uh, let it be 5, ok, like this, and uh, start tool, if you select empty place uh, you see these options uh, ok here our star uh, if you want it will be uh, straight uh, select shift and it will be like this and now I want to show you one more thing uh, what you can do with the help of uh, star tool uh, please hold the alt and the shape of the star will be like this and if you want if you will uh, hold uh, the control at first start to draw and now hold control your star will be look like this and this is free dither shapes of the star okay guys and the next tool is uh, the paint brush tool and uh, now I'm going to show you the easiest ways uh, to use it. First way, just if you need to draw the uh, something line like this, uh, you can change uh, the forms of your line. Let's draw one more line like this. And let's select it and you can change form like this or like this or like this but this is uh, the basic forms and you can open uh, the brushes library uh, for example let's open this library uh, select the brush and uh, you can choose any brush here or here in Adobe Illustrator you can create uh, your own brushes uh, here, yeah, here uh, you see the new brush tool so um, I think I create the other tutorial to show you how to create uh, the brushes in Adobe Illustrator so and uh, this is uh, was uh, were the main ways to use brushes and uh, for today that's all and the next very useful tool is this tool mesh tool uh, we need to create any shape, for example, select ellipse tool and select this color and hold shift 
Okay, now it's just the simple round and let's select uh, the mesh tool uh, and just uh, select this place now here and here like this uh, now let's select this color you need to put the color straight uh, to the anchors like this This tool is very useful when you want to create something realistic. I have uh, the few tutorials where I'm using the mesh tool and the last step is white color here and let's look and one more. I think here, sorry, here. Okay, and in a few minutes, guys, we created this 3D sphere. And this mesh tool, I think, very amazing tool. The next very useful tool is gradient tool. Uh, let's create the shape, for example, rectangle, like this. Uh, now let's select a black and white gradient. Just click here. Okay, uh, this gradient is called liner gradient. We can create radial gradient. And we can change color here and change color here. For example, like this, here yellow, here green, or here pink, as you like. The same here liner will be looks, looks like this. Uh, you can select the gradient tool and play the gradient as you like here or move the slider here the same with the radial gradient you can select here and make it like this or like this or move the slider like this as you like and uh, a very very useful gradient is free form gradient select it okay you see uh, this gradient is uh, looks like mesh tool or something like uh, smooth background uh, you can change the colors here select add here pink here blue and here green and here yellow uh, you see a very very cute and beautiful and modern and trendy background and you can add points in the places you need and of course you can add other colors Let's add here green and here pink like this and you see our background is very modern, uh, beautiful uh, and uh, very very interesting. And for the next tool I need our leaf photo. Sometimes guys you need to select colors from the photo and how you can do it we have with our dropper tool 
selected. You see here light yellow here, orange here, more darker orange, and you need this color. These colors. Uh, select here and the color you see here. Now, the help of a left button of the mouse, select this color and put it here. Ok, the first color is ready. Now, select here for the second color. Here are the second color. The same, select it and move it here. And the last color, I think, here, it's uh, more darker than this color. And here is our color, select it and move it here. Ok, the three main colors of our leaf is on our panel and it's very useful tool for select colors from the photos or illustrations or from other places where you can um, they want to select color and to use it in your design okay guys the next useful and helpful tool is the blend tool we need to create ellipse hold shift now Selection tool. Now hold Alt and move it down. When you see this pink line, you can be sure that your shapes are parallel. Like this. Now let's make this uh, ellipse pink color. Now we need to select both shapes and select Blend tool. At first select the orange and now select the pink, like this. And you see very modern and trendy, I don't know, button or something like this. You can move it like this to see better I like the way uh, that uh, blend tool works you can change the colors here and here I'm going to show you you need for this uh, direct selection tool select this and green color and select this and blue color and here the new button and I like it very very much and it's very useful and helpful too and now I'm going to show you a few helpful tools uh, we are not for creating something but uh, we are uh, very helpful for your work and the first tool is hand tool. Uh, you can select this tool and move your artboard and your illustration as you want for your comfortable work. Uh, now you can select zoom tool and to zoom it. Like this to see more better you work. Uh, now the last thing uh, is very useful. Uh, you can change uh, the screen mode. Uh, you can select the full screen mode just to see your illustration. Uh, if you want to uh, return in the normal mode you need to, to push on your key on your keyboard uh, escape okay and this is normal mode 
in this mod I'm usually working. Okay guys, that's all for today. It were the main tools uh, what I wanted to show you today in this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial of my course Adobe Illustrator from zero to beginner. Our first tutorial is over. Hope you like it. Waiting for your comments and likes. And the next tutorial will be in a few days. So, see you soon, guys. Bye bye. Mwah.